Hello viewers, welcome to Castle Grimborg in Germany. I will give you an extensive tour of the castle now. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment about your own adventures with castles that you might have had all around the world. Thank you. So viewers, we are now walking to the entrance tower of Castle Grimburg. You can rent this tower and sleep in here, I think with a group of five to 10 people. I think the base price is around 100 euros per night. And then they're charging you for every person that sleeps in here, a couple of euros more per night. Um, I will put the link to the castle management in the video description so if you're interested just click on there and you find all the information in there or I guess just simply skew, uh, scan this QR code here So viewers, there is a public toilet here so I'm guessing if you sleep in the tower in the front there you have a bit of a walk during the night until you can go reach the toilet. I think during the summer months they might have a little shop here. They're probably selling drinks and snacks. Looks like you can barbecue here. Let's go and walk over here and hopefully we can go over the bridge and walk into the main structure of Castle Grimburg. Enjoy! Apparently we are in the ruins of the old castle restaurant from the Middle Ages. And as mentioned before, we are now walking over to the bridge to the main structure of this castle ruin. In case you hear any funny noises in the background, I got my 10 year old son with me. He first wasn't too happy to come here, but now he seems to be more interested. Just in case you hear any funny noises or complaints in the background. We are now on the outside of the wall. I guess if you were wearing an iron suit in the Middle Ages, it would have been very difficult to climb up here. Well, let's walk up these stairs and see what we find behind this wall. Okay, there is another building here. The door is sadly locked. Sadly, we can't go in there. Let's have a look over here. There must have been some other buildings here in the past. Kind of around the castle. I'm gonna try and dig out some information or plans from the past to maybe find out what these structures would have been here used for when this castle was active many hundred years ago. I guess now we have a nice view of the place where we walked before. It looks like we can go up to the tower which is where we will go next. I just seen we can walk through here. Oh no, there's a little tunnel exit that goes out. We'll try that later. See, we've been locked out from this area. Maybe it's unstable. So 
Let's see where we can no, we can't walk through here either. So we have only one chance and that is going up. So let's climb up the tower of Castle Grimburg. So he goes, let's climb up the castle tower. My son is a little bit afraid of heights, so I had to assure him that these stairs are safe because they've been here for a long time. I'm sure we have an awesome view from up there. Now it's getting very tight. I'm just, yeah, it's just barely high enough for me. I'm six foot one. It's just barely tall enough for me to walk through those little holes. Let's have a walk around here and look down. I will go down there later with you and show you the rest of this structure. I see the tent is still here. You can rent this place for weddings. It must be interested to have, interesting to have your wedding up here. Awesome view in the past here to see any enemies that were going to try and attack them. Let's continue our climb up the stairs. So let's continue our climb up this kind of dark structure. Looks like we do have an exit since I can see daylight up there. It's a very tight staircase. There's definitely no space for two people to fit next to each other. So let's come out here again at this little balcony. We will go up higher in a second. Looks like we can walk all around. The view gets more impressive as higher as we get. I didn't expect such a nice castle tower here. It didn't look like this on the pictures you can get on Google Maps that people left here. Definitely an awesome castle structure, especially if you have kids that are interested in castles. Let's continue our walk up to the top. That should be the last flight of stairs now. interesting to stand here in the middle ages and aim out with one of the early guns to see if you can shoot any potential invaders from up here. Oh wow, the last bit is very steep. I am not sure if my son will do that. So you can wait downstairs if you want. I'm going up here. No, I'm going to come up. Be careful. Remember people, I have a extreme fear of heights, so going up here is a challenge for me. My son just said never mind, so I'm doubting he's coming up here and enjoying the view. Just so you can see where we are here, this is just all very little. And I just want to show you what it looks like if you go down, it's kind of going straight down. So it's not going to be nice for me to walk back down there again. But let's enjoy the views up here on this drafty tower from Castle Grimburg. Or in German, the castle tower is called a Bergfried. Berg is the mountain, Fried means peace. So it's probably to make sure that the castle stays peaceful and there is no um, unnecessary invaders coming up here. The miracle has happened, my son made it up here. He isn't even more scared of heights. So viewers, there you have it, the top of Castle Grimborg. I will be talking to you again once we are down and uh, looking at the rest of the castle. Enjoy the view. So viewers, now that we're down from the castle tower, 
we're looking at the Burghaus. This used to be the main building of the castle. Scan the QR code if you want to get more information. But yeah, it's def it's closed too, as you can see from the locks here, sadly. So we can only look at the outside of Castle Grimbrook. Let's have a look. Oh, this used to be the castle kitchen here in the past. There used to be a sundial here somewhere. I can't see it. Sadly. So behind this wall used to be the cistern, so the water supply of the castle. I can't see down there, so sadly no treasure down there. You know, I'm always looking for treasures, but it's even blocked. My son found that very amusing when I said I'm really looking for treasures. But he is playing Minecraft and looking for treasures there. So I can look for treasures of castles in the real world. But as you see, there is nothing there. So, here we have the Schmiedeturm and the Castle Palace. Apparently the Schmiedeturm is used to be where the Iron Smith used to be based. Or as they call it here, the Smithy Tower. They used to get their new horseshoes here in the past. And um, probably some weapons and other defensive tools that they needed in the Middle Ages. And as you can see here, couples that are in love can leave their lock here. It's officially you're allowed to leave it here, not like in Paris where they take your locks off the bridges again. And as you can see, it's been quite a few people here that got married here. There's even the dates on the locks, so they must have been custom made for this event. Very cute. So let's continue on. Let's see where we end up here when we go up these stairs here. Okay, not very far. Must have been another little lookout area before. Down there you can see the um, tent. You can rent that if you want to get married here. And I'm sure as an extra they let you sleep in the tower in the front. Who knows, maybe they throw that in for free. Never know, but we're in Germany, so they usually charge you for everything extra. Let's have a look in this tent, as it seems to be open. I'm amazed they leave it out here to the elements during the cold season of the year. But, yeah. There is some signs with town names or people names, some chairs, and I don't know what that is over there, maybe for target practice. Let's have a look what else we have here. There is a little tower here. Let's look what that is. It even got a doorbell by the looks of it. Or is it a number code lock? Oh, it's the kitchen tower. So they probably do all the cooking in here for events and yeah there's a very sturdy paddle lock here so we can't get inside and we'll look down these oh, there must be a storage area down there and a bowl for dogs to drink so let's go over here to this other tower see what we what kind of tower this is here Ooh, it's the witch's tower so, I guess for further information, scan the QR code. It seems like you can come in here and bring your food. Oh, apparently there is a castle and witches museum down in the village of Grimburg. The opening times are from November till March. It's only open Sundays from 2 till 5 p.m. and from April till October. It is open Saturdays and Sundays from 2 till 5 p.m. You can call ahead and try and get extra entrance. The prices are here. Adults are 2 euros 50. Children from 6 till 15 are 1 euro. I guess kids below 6 are free. There's a family ticket for 4 euros. Groups that are larger than 15 people, it's 1 euro. And for 
school classes, it seems to be like 50 cent per person. There is the link from the support community of Castle Grimborg. And obviously there is the QR code if you want to get further information. So let's have a look through this witch's tower here. By looking up top, they've put a, some wooden board in here. Maybe they use it as a storage area of inspecting the roof. And yeah, you can see it's very thick walls here. My arm is not even barely long enough to reach to the end. So let's have a look what else we have here because there is a lower entrance here. Let's see what we find down there. Mm, that looks a bit sketchy down here. Lower my head to get in here. Okay, seems to be the basement of the tower. God knows what's happening down here. I hope they're not using this as a toilet or whatever. So let's go out of here again. So we have, looks like we have reached the end here of the castle, so there is probably a storage shed where they probably keep all the chairs and the things they're using for weddings. So because there you have it, I've walked you all around Castle Grimburg, you can have a last view at the castle tower here. So I'm saying thanks for watching, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and it would be great to see some comments from you guys about what adventures you had on castles if there's any specific castles that you want me to make videos about here in germany and surrounding area please put the name of the castle and the location in the comments if there's a link to a website please leave that as well and then i'll see if i can do videos for that so thanks for watching and until next sunday bye bye